today what I'm going to be doing is an experiment where I use alcohol inks using a deep slow cure resin. And I'm going to be using the T-Expert epoxy resin. I really like that resin. It works really well. I also like the J-Diction one. So if you can't get hold of this, the J-Diction one is brilliant too. I'm going to use the alcohol inks in here. It's going to take about 48 hours to cure and we'll see if it just turns into an absolute blob of a mess or it gives us some great results. I'm looking forward to seeing the final experiment myself. So I hope you are. Now I've mixed up my resin and I let it sit for about 10 minutes before I poured it to allow any bubbles to come up to the top. I'm also pouring it slowly because I don't want any bubbles to cling to the side of this silicon mold because this shaped silicon mold they can often cling to it and as my friend William calls them you don't want those clingers. So now that's in it's time to put in my alcohol inks. Now I'm using the Let's Resin alcohol inks because I've done lots of tests on alcohol inks and these are the without a doubt the most colour fast ones. I had them in a test and you can check that video out. I'll link it in the description. And these didn't fade in direct sunlight. I'm not saying they will never fade, but they lasted a long time before anything happened to them. So popping in my white sinker and my alcohol inks over the top of that. And I'm going to put in quite a lot into this one. As you'll probably see, massive thank you to all my members. Congratulations to the competition win winners. Those prizes are winging their way to you now. And if you'd like to become a member and benefit from the members only videos, all the help, all the support, the business information and everything else that we do in the group, then the link for that is in the description below. I'd love to see you over there. So now what I'm doing is I'm pushing these down because I'm concerned that they're just sitting on the top and not actually sinking down. And I, this is quite a deep mold as well. So I want to make sure that that ink is all the way through there. And again, now I'm just adding more white. I love watching the patterns that alcohol ink make in resin. The, the way it mixes together and does its thing is just beautiful. Oh look, hadn't taken the top off that bottle. <laughs> That's a surprise. So adding more colours now. I can't even remember what colours I used in this and I can't see the colours now because I can't see the labels on the bottle. Massive thank you to all the people that got me a coffee last month. I know times are tough, but it really does help. I've had some big expenses in the last couple of months. So it really does help me to get the channel going and pay those expenses. So thank you very much. Add in some more white as well here and allowing that to sink down. Check out my other channel, Steve McDonald Craft, and do a lot of upcycling up in that channel and a lot of other crafts and testing out new crafts as well. I'd love to see you over there. And if you pop over, please leave me a comment so I know you've been. So again, still adding more. I think I overdid it on this one and you'll see that towards the end, but you'll see what I do to compensate as well for that. But look at that beautiful pattern that it's making on the top. Oh, I wish I could capture that in a bottle or something. Also, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. The links for that are in the description below. Join me. I'd love to see you on that. It's growing nicely as a little community. So allowing that again to carry on and do its thing. And now I'm still not satisfied. So thinking that this is quite a big mould and a deep mould and a deep pour resin, I'm still adding more and more to it. And I just keep sitting here looking at it and thinking, shall I add more? And I just don't stop. I just keep adding more and adding more. And what I forget is that this is a slow cure resin. And as a result, it is probably just going to blend in and be one colour. But we'll see at the end if that happens or not. So add in some more sinker. And now I think I've decided that it's enough. Stop. And that is one of my biggest problems. I find it really hard to just say stop. So what I'll do now is I will leave this for 72 hours before I demold it. And then we can see what happens. Well, this is all cured up now. It's gone lovely and hard. Now, to make it easier to get it out of this mold, all I'm doing is squirting a little bit of soapy water down the sides. And that should allow it to come out. I'm not sure what this is going to look like yet. And I'm a little bit excited, I have to say. <laughs> okay, so it's looking quite nice. 
It needs a light shining through it, but unfortunately, because where we've put the alcohol inks, it's got a solid base, so the light's not going to shine through that. So what I'm going to do is, oh, that's come out with some really pretty patterns. It's not the look I thought it would do. Maybe I overdid the white, I don't know, but we will see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that base off. So I've sawn that off now and it's sawed through lovely and clean. I'm just going to give that a bit of a wipe over, but I want that to be clear. I don't want it to look like it's been sawed or sanded. I think this is going to look good. Right, so that's got all that dust off. And now I'm going to use the low viscosity UV resin on this. That will cure lovely and flat. Use an old brush. Brush that on all the way around. You won't see any of those marks from the saw. And it will make that lovely and transparent. And because it's a low viscosity resin, it's not going to dome in the slightest. So it will be a nice level flat bottom. And then cure that up with my torch. Look at that beautiful pattern that's in there. Well, that's lovely and cured now and has gone really nice and shiny. Now, if I wanted to get rid of those little track lines from my saw, I, all I'd need to do is put another little cover on of that resin, but I don't want to. And this is the lamp base that it's going to go on. Overall, I think it's come out lively. I love the way that these streams of colour have come down here and then there's some like cloudy bits in the inside but the really the proof is going to be what it looks like lit up as well i think i will definitely be trying this again and using some different colors so let's have a look i think that has come out really well i think that looks lovely and pretty well since making this one which i really like i made another one and i love the way that this has come out look at the clouds inside that one the way it streaks down these sides gives such a great finish as well very mystical inside and i used a lot less alcohol ink in this one than i did in the first one i'm not sure if the camera really is picking up how pretty it looks it's come out really pretty with and with the light in let's turn that light off and it just looks like a dome and then you light it up and it absolutely comes to life i've really enjoyed using alcohol inks in the deep pour resin move that like button if you've enjoyed this video and if it's helped you if you want to learn more about using resin and the different things that you can do with using resin but check out the video that's coming up at the end of this one don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos take care enjoy your resin bye